Okay, so I believe we're good. Yeah, recording. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm out here today with one of our great, great, dearest clients, Greg here. Um, Greg has been a client with us for, I believe, how long has it been? About seven uh, months, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's seven? actually since since April. Um, April, okay. Yeah, since April, I came on board and, um, and then started uh, selling products and getting everything all set uh, right at the very beginning of June, so. Okay, got it. So, um, okay, so it's been maybe about seven, seven plus months. Um, mm -hmm. And just so you guys have a little bit of framework, um, Greg actually had a store with the previous provider and it was for drop shipping. So basically, uh, you know, do you kind of want to maybe talk about the differences that you've seen in the two, Greg? Like which one you prefer, maybe why? What, what kind of differences have you seen with both the models now that, you know, you've been in, I guess, a client for a couple different, uh, you know, types of, of basically selling on amazon right 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 yeah i mean dro drop shipping was um in my mind it was non-existent for my store um i couldn't i kept getting you know shut down and things of that sort and the store really never got approved and opened up to do the full drop shipping but from what i understand with the drop shipping a lot of these accounts are getting shut down because it's not done um you know under under the proper guidelines that Amazon puts forth, so FBA is is the way to do it. It's the safest way. Um, I haven't had any problems um, okay. at all since the beginning when I started with you guys. So it's it's um, it's a slow going process, but if you do it right, it definitely uh, works out. So. Right. Yeah. Awesome. And and you know that's one of the things about drop shipping as well. Um, you know. There's a lot of stuff on the internet. You see these crazy big accounts, and you know you see maybe a hundred thousand dollar account here and a you know hundred and fifty here. And you know what they don't show is clients like yourself where they can't even set your account up or the suspensions that occur. Or really, there's a lot of stuff. And you know, you mentioned FBA can be a bit of a slower process, which is you know understandable because you're buying products up front, right? You're right. not you know listing them before you sell them and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, in your case, I mean, you know, basically with, with, you know, the fact you've been a client now for, I think seven plus months, mm -hmm. um, you, you've seen that right when you started, I mean, you know, obviously the sales were pretty slow to, to the, at the beginning and, uh, you know, like basically the last couple months, I know you said you were really happy with like the results and, you know, yeah. what you've been seeing. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, maybe if you want, uh, we can kind of go over some of that. Like I can pull up your report here. Sure. Um, yeah, then, then we can talk about, you know how everything's been, all that kind of stuff. I know you've been really happy with that recent uh, Nike. <laughs> yeah, definitely um, makes a big difference when you have a big uh, uh, a big brand name like that um, that's driving yeah. a lot of the you know the volume. So yeah, it's been it's been definitely phenomenal. So yeah, let me let me just pull up your report here super quick sure. so you know, we can we can check it out. Right. Um, like I said, Greg's been a client with us now for. I mean, we can even pull it up here so that we we, we can see. Um, you know, just, just to kind of get a comparison and see exactly like how your store has been performing. Right. Um, right. so, you know, if we pull up here, um, basically look at your, your sales, you know, I know there's a lot of people, for example, that think, you know, just Q4 is the only month, you know, quarter that you're going to make a ton of sales. Um, that's not necessarily true. I mean, you know, if we go pull up your, uh, <clears throat> your report here in January, I mean, you know, you've done, you know, close to 8,600 now. Right. in sales uh which is pretty pretty solid i mean you know obviously uh you know you still have a ton of inventory that's about to come in and stuff like that so it's definitely going to ramp up um and then yeah i mean let's let's kind of just even check out um how it's done i mean you know we can even look and just check in general um you know like how your store is scaled along the year right yeah so if you want to kind of see that um you know obviously there's been a consistency in in sales throughout um, you know, that you started to see a lot more in, you know, December, right. And you started to basically grow your store in general, <clears throat> you know, we really didn't get going until basically like October, November, right. until you really started to, you know, push that, those kind of sales. Right. And, right. you know, you've done 29,000, um, in, in product sales, which is pretty solid. I mean, considering your store really didn't start to ramp up. And at, at, just as you kind of mentioned there, Greg, I mean, you know, you can see here, I mean, the, the amount of sales that were occurring before, right. um, you know, you, it really takes some time to build a store up. It certainly does. 
people think that it's this process where they're going to get started and within three months, they're going to get a bunch of sales. It's just not how it works. No. Right? You, have, you have to be patient um, and understanding that, right? Well, and you're building the inventory over the first three months. And I know that when, when I came on board with you guys, um, it was put forth that the, the first three months don't even, don't even expect anything. Just expect to go ahead and start ramping up your store. Yeah. Um, I've, I invested just really whatever I needed to invest at the beginning uh, to go and get my product going. And then after that, all I've been doing is um, just um, reinvesting my profits. So, and this yeah. is the, the prime example that if you go ahead and do that, that your, your, your store is going to grow. And again, it might take, you know, six to six to nine months to really grow it where you, you know, mm -hmm. get a good, good, good amount of profit. But yeah, you know, this is a prime example of what, you know, what can happen if you do that. So, yeah, exactly. And, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, you had basically with, with the total sales, I mean, really, it started to really hit in December. I mean, you can see yeah. here how many more sales you've started to make when you're at almost 20,000 since December 1st, right? Mm -hmm. So right. again, you know, there's a ton of, I mean, do you like based on your profit report, um, you know, do, do you recall what you had made uh, back in December? Uh, in December, it was over $4,000 in profit, which, which was amazing because it seemed that everything um, that I had with Nike, everything was just, we would list it and it would just go off the shelves, like really right. fast. So, so you, um, you made over 4,000 profit in one profit. month. That's, yeah. I mean, you know, considering, you know, again, you know, there's a lot of things you see online where people make a hundred thousand in sales and their, their margins can be two, 3%, right? I mean, you know, in, in the last couple months you've done, you know, just, just shy of $20,000, obviously it's going to ramp up as the time goes. Um, but, you know, you can kind of see already, I mean, you started a store, let's say six, seven months ago. Um, and, you know, really, I mean, the amount that you've, you've profited on in one month, I mean, has been pretty phenomenal, right? So, I mean, you know, I, again, you know, people, I think, need to really understand the fact that um, the first three, four months just do take time to scale. It takes right. time to grow. But I, I did kind of want to show this graph so that people got to see, you know, obviously your you know, sales, just your experience in general. Um, I'll take this off now, just in terms of the sure. store itself. But um, yeah, basically, you know, I mean, it, it goes to show how it, how long it takes at the, at the beginning, right? Right. I mean, it's, right. It's not a, it's not a fast process. And I think like you had mentioned, Greg, I mean, it's, it's, you know, what people don't understand is at the start, they want to just make profits right away. And right. any brick and mortar business, any kind of a model, generally speaking, can take years to even make a profit, let alone a mm -hmm. significant profit, right? Right. I mean, in e-commerce, I think the big problem is people see these types of things online and they think that, okay, this guy, this guy made X amount of dollars. And then, you know, he's probably selling, you know, courses all day and stuff like that. And then they think yeah. that it's super easy. And then that basically then, then they trust a model that's not scalable. Mm -hmm. Um, like this is a highly scalable model, right? Because I mean, you, know, you can just grow and basically as long as you can float the inventory and you're comfortable with that, you know, as you've probably seen at this point, I mean, it, this model works very well, right? Mm -hmm. So, it does. you know, um, you've been, you've been just reinvesting the profits too. I mean, it's not like you've had, I mean, if I'm making $4,000 profit and it looks like I'm going to be right, or I'm going to probably be even more so this month, um, over $4,000 in profit. I mean, I think you had you had um, mentioned that my margins, um, a profit last month was right around forty some odd percent, which yeah, really if hard. I'm making eleven point one eleven point one thousand dollars in an actual month, and I'm profiting over four thousand dollars. I mean, that's a pretty pretty nice nice little profit there, you know, considering. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, you know, again, you know, I. Um, this industry is very focused on making things look fancy. And I mean, that's just not how it works in the real world. Um, or it's going to be a very fast model that, that busts very quick, right? right. You, you could have a couple months where you're doing something that's against terms of service, which again, all these Walmart providers and stuff are doing. Exactly. Um, and then eventually what happens is, yeah, you know, you, you might have made just barely, maybe not even enough to recoup the initial investment. I know a lot of these programs are, you know, 30,000 just to get a store, right? Right. And then you pay the 30,000 and, you know, you're, you know, you're basically crossing your fingers that you don't get suspended before you make that back. Exactly. Right? exactly. This is a model that's more, you know, you, you kind of just put in, as you've seen, you let it build up, you let it grow and compound. Yeah. And 
you know, I mean, again, just even based on your reports, I mean, you know, they, they've been phenomenal. Um, your margins have been really good. And uh, obviously every account scale is different. You got to consider different things. Some people take longer to get approved. I mean, Amazon, the, the only thing that makes sense about Amazon is it doesn't make sense. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, you know, there's there's Nike. I, I was lucky enough to get that, you know, a couple couple months ago. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's what helps. But I mean, there's also other brand names that, you know, should only take three to four months, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. And they're still, you know, coming back saying, so it's, yeah, it's, again, it's, it's, it's almost like a, it's, it's frustrating sometimes the way Amazon is, but you know, you get into the, the FBA model, that's going to be the model that you want to stay in and, um, and just, enjoy the ride, so to speak. I mean, if you're going to go ahead and think that you're going to make a hundred thousand dollars in six months, it's not going to happen. Um, yeah. unless, unless you have that amount to go and put into your inventory, you're not going to end up having that. And that's not going to, you have to slowly scale, scale up your store because you yeah. know, that possibly could get you suspended if you don't scale up your store properly. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's all about the longevity. Um, that's why I like to look at FBA as more of like a one year model. If you trade it like that, then you're going to come in with the right mindset. If you trade it as a as a three month model, and where right. you want to make a bunch within three months, like yeah. you're probably going to be way too antsy. You're going to start pulling out amounts you make, and I mean, it's going to start to become a model where you're going to not become content. And a, as you've done from the start, I mean, you you've continually reinvested, right? That's yeah, the absolutely. whole thing that you should do with your store: reinvest. Yeah. You know, let it build, right? Let it compound. Um, that's why your store has been really good. Yeah. Um, you know, as we've seen. So, I mean, you know, we look forward to continually growing with you, Greg. And I mean, Absolutely. you know, I'm excited to do a video with you in, in the coming months and assess your, uh, your store growth again. And, you that know, really, great. yeah, just look at everything. I mean, again, you know, you, you've done things right. You've done things the way you should. Um, so, you know, that being said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, you've seen that kind of growth already. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what, like I said, uh, in the future, definitely we'll be doing another video um, going over everything, but um, for now, you know, thanks, Greg, for jumping on. I just wanted to kind of get your experience with everything, see how it's been so far in about, you know, six, seven months since you've been with us. Um, and yeah, definitely looking forward to continually growing with you and uh, going from there, Greg. So thanks. Thanks again for jumping on with uh, with me. Oh, my pleasure. Come on and we'll, we'll do it again soon. Appreciate it. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks so much, Greg. Have a good day. Take care. You too. Right. Thanks.